terrifying moments for everyone inside a San Jose Home Depot early Saturday evening. The building engulfed in flames. People trying to find family members, employees trying to find each other, managers trying to make sure all their employees are out. San Jose Fire getting multiple calls from within the store around 5.30 p.m., arriving on scene shortly after quickly calling for backup. They reported that they had heavy fire coming from the front side of the Home Depot. They immediately called for a second alarm. And that second alarm soon turning into a fifth alarm. The thick plume of smoke seen for miles and miles away. As it stands right now, um, we have all full accountability for all the employees that worked in the Home Depot. We have no reported injuries to civilians or firefighters. Toxic smoke and whipping winds wreaking havoc. Our nearby neighbor is being asked to take any precautions as far as to the toxic toxicity of the smoke. Is that a concern at this point? Yeah, so what we did is, uh, with the assistance of San Jose Police Department, is we let all the people in the uh, neighborhood to shelter in place, keep their windows closed, turn off their air conditioning units, you know, turn off any exterior fans. Crews evacuating an adjoining veterinary clinic, managing to keep the fire at bay. We have a trailer that's going to hopefully be able to transport a whole bunch of crates full of dogs and just the dogs and all the cats just need to be safe. And while crews are starting to get this massive blaze under control, concerns overnight will be any hot spots, flare ups. We've already seen them well here. Carter Nielsen lives nearby and couldn't believe how quickly the flames grew. Dropped my kid off. We drove by, dropped her off at a friend's house. And then 15 minutes later, when I drove by, the entire building was engulfed. As for the cause of the fire, officials say it's likely a long way out from knowing. The Home Depot is pretty much a total loss. Um, the roof is pretty much collapsed from the entire structure. So it's going to take some time for us to get in there, if we even can. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.